everyone, today we're going to do an experiment about acids and bases. And we're also going to learn about acids and bases. We all know that liquids or solids are acids or bases. If in a, in a liquid there are lots of hydrogen ions, then it's an acid. If in a liquid there's lots of hydroxide ions, that means that it's a base. This is a pH scale. We use it to see or if liquids are acids or bases. 0 to 7 are acids and 0 is the strongest acid and 7 to 14 are the bases and 14 is the strongest base and 7 is neutral. The meaning of neutral is that a liquid is not an acid or a base. Some examples of acids are lemonade, batteries, and vinegar. Some examples of bases are washing powder, toothpaste, and baking soda. Now let's do our experiment. We have a pH scale and some pH strips and how we could test or if a liquid is a acid or a base so we get all these household liquids and we get one by one liquid and we dip the stripe into one of the liquids and the color changes on the strip and we compare which color matches to one of the colors on the pH scale and that's how we could identify or if a liquid is an acid or a base. So the liquids we have here are water, salt, lemonade, orange juice, grape juice, baking soda, and hydrogen peroxide. We have salt and baking soda and we have this cup with water. What we're going to do with this cup of water. We're going to pour some water into the cup with the salt and pour some water into the dish of the baking soda and I'm going to take a pH strip and I'm first going to dip it into the water. water. I'm dipping it in. It's like dark yellow or green. I'm going to match to see which color matches? It looks like seven. Yeah. It's neutral. So water is neutral. So we're going to write on the board. The water is e neutral. So, I'm going so we're going to write seven. The yeah. number. Seven. Because seven is neutral. I'm going to dip the pH strip into the salty water. Maybe it's six. It looks like six. Now I think it's seven. So we're going to write on the board that it's seven. So I'm writing on the board that it's seven. Now I'm going to dip a pH strip into lemonade. It looks like four. So it's an acid. So four is an acid, so I'm going to write on my board. So I'm writing four on the board. I'm going to dip that pH strip into the orange juice. And match. Uh, it looks like five. Yeah, it looks like five to me. So it's an uh, acid. I'm going to dip the pH strip in the grape juice. I'm going to dip it. So we're going to match to see what color it looks like. It looks like three. Yeah. So it's, it's an, an acid. acid. I'm going to dip that pH strip into the 
baking soda. So she's dipping it. This it's dark green to me. So compare it. It looks like nine. Yeah, so it's a base. So I'm going to write nine in front of baking soda. I'm going to put the pH strip into hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide. So dip it. It looks like it's yellow. Yeah, it looks like, like five to me. It looks like six to me. Wait, it's, it's six. six. It's six. This is our second set. And what we have in our second set is dishwashing soap, sugar, tomato ketchup, vinegar, soda, corn syrup, and vegetable oil. So I'm going to get a pH strip and I'm going to put it into the dishwashing soap. Leave it for some time. So it's uh, it's at nine. So it's a base. Dipping the pH strip in the sugary water and then getting it out. And I'm going to identify what color it is. Hmm. I think that this is like seven. Yeah, it's seven. So it's neutral. But in the ketchup. I do not know what color the pH strip will become. So, I don't know. So, okay, so let's see. I'm dipping it. I'm getting it out. And I think it's like orange. Like orange. orange. So I'm going to compare with the pH. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like five. Okay, so let's write on the board that it's five. Ketchup is an acid. I'm gonna dip it in the vinegar. So I'm dipping it. So I dipped it. It's like magenta to me. It's like scarlet. So now I'm going to compare. It looks like three. Yeah, it's three. It's three. Yeah. So three is an acid. I'm going to dip it in cola. I think I mean, it's soda. Like. Imagine with two. So lemon 
is a strong acid. Going to dip the pH strip into the pineapple juice. And it looks kind of like the last one that we got the lemon. But it's kind of It's orange. orange. It's orange. So it looks like four. Yeah, it looks like four. So it's a uh, acid. acid. So pineapple juice is an acid. Now we're going to test the pH strip with hand sanitizer. So I'm going to put the pH strip into the hand sanitizer. It looks same as how it is. It looks like mm, six. 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 Looks like six. So six is an acid. Hand sanitizer is a weak acid and it's close to neutral, which is the number seven. I'm going to dip the pH strip into the toothpaste. And see what color? Get. It looks like nine. So nine? it's a base. Yeah, nine is a base. So it's toothpaste a is a base. It's a weak base. Yeah. I'm going to dip it in the pomegranate juice. Mm -hmm. And it's like scarlet. Yeah, it is scarlet. It looks like Two. Pomegranate juice is an acid. Now we're going to put a pH strip in milk. And see what color it gets. I don't know what color it would. It looks like seven. Yeah. So it's neutral. Okay. So milk, milk is neutral. neutral. When you have a tummy ache. Doctors give you antacids and those antacids have sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, and calcium carbonate. These antacids work by neutralizing your stomach acids into water and carbon dioxide. Your stomach has an acid and the name of that acid is hydrochloric acid. And hydrochloric acid helps you digest the food that you eat. And it also helps kill bacteria. And when you exercise, you get lactic acids, which are acids, and they make your muscles strong. And oranges, grapes, and lemons are citric. And their uses are citric acids, which are acids. A lot of acids and bases are strong and one of the acids which are strong are boric acid. They are acids and they are used as pesticides. They are so dangerous and some are helpful like the one in plant seeds. They help plants grow and they make them grow taller and taller. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, Kids Girl, for more fun science experiments.